Hello friends, welcome to Tilted Planet. My name is Sangeeta and you are watching episode 6. In this episode, I am going to look in the past for a peaceful future of the Middle East. So let's first analyze the current situation in the Middle East. Region divided in princely states. People connected by a common culture but divided along the sectarian lines. Empirical powers are taking advantage of these divisions. Princely states subdued by the empirical powers. So let's take our scanner and go around the globe to see what looks like this in the past. And we don't actually have to go that far. This looks a lot like the 18th or the 19th century India. So what was the solution in India? India's non-violent struggle for independence. Aspects of India's peaceful non-violent independence struggle that are relevant here. Number one, it was a people's movement. Number two, a peaceful and secular movement against an all-powerful adversary. This was a key to the unity of the region. Number three, simultaneous social reforms. And number four, I have here the quit India call for the British. That was after decades of negotiations for self-rule and more autonomy for the region. All those negotiations failed and Gandhi finally just gave one final call, quit India. Now what's happening in the Middle East now? The people from the region are quitting unfortunately and becoming refugees elsewhere. Instead of that, they need to come back and revive the Arab Spring into Arab Spring 2, which is based on these principles. Okay, so recommending Arab Spring 2 based on India's nonviolent uh, struggle for independence. Why do I think it will work? So in addition to the similarities I pointed out earlier, Satyagraha, the force of truth, is an invention by Mahatma Gandhi that has been successfully used repeatedly in many different scenarios. Now the next question, it will work, but is it necessary? Most importantly, merely absence of war is not peace. The region is currently being used as a battleground between the empirical powers, Russia and the NATO countries. Someday that battleground will shift and that will bring a vacuum which could bring an anarchy which we have already seen in the region but also in Afghanistan after Russia was defeated and America left. Now compare that to India. Many argue that the India's freedom movement didn't actually bring the freedom. They cite other reasons why the British left. Let's assume that they are right for a second. The British would have handed the power back to the princely states and the fate of those states could not have been much different than today's Afghanistan and Pakistan. So can this happen in the Middle East? For all we know, it might already be happening. The next Gandhis of the Middle East, they may be in the posh towers of Dubai or they may be living in the refugee camps somewhere or they may be living somewhere in the Western countries. So much depends upon whether or not the people of this region can overcome their identity myopias to unite. Do you know any such efforts already underway? If you do, please comment below and tell us about it. And comments from the last episode, Vibha Saraf's solution comes very close to my suggestion here for the solution. Thank you Vibha for your comment. 